come on, that was good, wasn't it? I liked it. I thought it was you good. Know, little Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carrot ginger soup. Yeah. Like I said before, the farmer's markets are open mm -hmm. and they're producing. It's beautiful, so you're going to see a lot of fresh vegetables. You're already starting to see them. Fresh beets are at the market, root vegetable, carrots. When you think of carrots, ah, eh, carrots. But carrots make a delicious soup, too. Mm. They okay? do, yes. And especially when you combine carrot with fresh ginger. This is fresh ginger. Uh -huh. Ginger you see a lot in Asian cuisine, right? Right. And they use it a lot with vegetables, okay? Primarily, Asians eat a lot of fresh vegetables. And ginger enhances the vegetable. It makes it wake up. It makes it dance and sing, okay? Because ginger has that aromatic flavors and... Uh, aroma and spice and zest. It's beautiful and also it's good for your tummy. Yes. Oh, nice. You know, ginger, like when the kids are a little bit. Oh, sure. Sore tummy, give them that. a little bit of ginger, makes you feel better. So it's delicious, it makes you feel better, it's in season and it's happy. You know what we haven't done in a long time? What? Remember that, remember that stretch? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I need it today. I do too. Ready? What are we going to do? Ah, and then just throw it all away. Ah. Throw it away. Here we go. Let's Here get to that. That Let's was go. great. Don't we feel better now? All right, yeah. so we're going to start making the soup. Okay. We'll turn the heat on. Medium to high heat. All right. Butter, Andrea. Oh, butter, butter. Unsalted butter, a couple of tablespoons of butter. We need a fat to start sauteing our aromatic yeah. vegetables to create sure the to base of any good soup. Okay. All right. All right. And we have a cup of chopped onion. Coarsely chopped, right? Yeah, doesn't matter because we're going to puree the soup when it's all uh, cooked down, okay? okay? So we're going to saute those, okay? okay. We want them to soften up the onion with the butter. Mm -hmm. The next ingredient is going to be the ginger. So you see the ginger here comes in at the store. What we want to do is just remove the skin. We don't want that. And you don't have to be so particular on how you do this. I just go really quickly with a knife. Mm -hmm. I want to create a piece of the ginger that I can cut easily because I want to mince the ginger. Just like when you're cutting any vegetable, you want to make it nice and easy. Strips. Oh, that smells good. Doesn't that smell terrific? Yeah. And just rough chop, okay? Because this is also going to go right into the soup with the onions now and the butter. See how easy this is? So if a child is sick, you could just give them a little bit of that, a little strip of it, maybe? A little bit of strip of that. That's what's supposed to relax the tummy if okay. it has an upset tummy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. And you're supposed to, it's supposed to be very good for you just to eat also as an adult, okay? It has all those antioxidants and anti-inflammatory it's very medicinal. Is that the correct word? Yeah. Sounds okay. good, Dr. Yeah. Nacella. Dr. Nacella in the house. <laughs> okay, right. ginger. Thank okay. you. Fantastic. Right in okay. there, okay? And then we're going to add the carrots. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And right here I have about four cups of chopped carrot. Just rough carrot. Yeah. Okay? So a cup of onions, maybe two tablespoons of minced ginger, a cup of onion. Oh, this smells so Does good. Does that smell good already? Yes. Okay, and we're just going to saute that together, all right? Chris, we'll talk about the carrots. I always peel the carrots before I start cooking with them, all right? Mm -hmm. And you just take a vegetable peeler and you let that do all the work. Can you peel one for yes, me? Yes, absolutely. All right? And that's all you have to do, just peel them. And then I cut them into rounds to put them into the, to the soup, okay? Okay. See how easy that is? A nice vegetable peeler makes life very, very easy. Does all the work for you. Beautiful. How long would you normally let this cook? So this is going to cook for about five, five minutes. Oh, okay. You want the onions to soften up, mm -hmm. the ginger to soften up, get all together and happy and dance with the carrots <laughs> and start releasing those aromatic flavors to the base of any good soup. Okay, now we're going to add four cups of chicken stock. Okay. All right, the liquid of the soup. You can also use vegetable stock. I prefer chicken stock because it has a little more, mm, it just makes things taste better. <laughs> yeah. But if you want to keep it completely vegetarian, vegetable stock, no problem. Okay. Just make sure you season it well. Okay. All right, and then we're going to add quarter cup of brown sugar. Oh, that's an unexpected. Brown sugar. <laughs> Carrots and brown sugar go well together. Okay. Okay. Sweeten it up a little bit. All right. So right over here, I have one that's been already cooking. Mm -hmm. It's nice and soft. All right. Yeah. So we'll let that cook for about 40 minutes, okay. 35, 45 Don't minutes. Don't really have to until, stir much, right? And we just let it cook until mm -hmm. it soften up until we get this. Voila. Mm. Nice. Doesn't look beautiful? It does. Yes. So this has all been cooked down. It's all nice and soft. And all we have to do now is get the boat motor out. Andrea, can you show the folks it. the boat motor? I do. The immersion blender, one of uh, my favorites. Yeah, this is about to go everywhere. So you don't have to transfer. <laughs> have some faith. <laughs> have okay, some faith. Chris. That's why he's giving me the power tool. All right, and you want to make sure when you use an immersion blender that the blades are immerged in the liquid underneath. Okay, this go ahead, turn it. Yeah, and that's all you do. Look at that, Berg. Look at that. Wow. 
Whoa. <laughs> hit the other button. Hi. Yeah. Ah. And keep it on the deeper keep side. It, keep it in the deep. Look at that. Ah, no! Don't make me sick. All this tomfoolery here. <laughs> Just whiz it willy-nilly. <laughs> okay, okay, you can stop now. Okay, okay. And then <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> we're gonna add some cream, all right? And if you don't want to have cream in your soup, you don't have to add it in, but I like it. Who doesn't want cream? All right, yeah. and then we're gonna, a little more. Okay. So immersion blender, these are great gadgets because you can puree the soup right into the pot where it's cooking. There's no transferring of hot liquid. Like what? if you had to go to a food processor yes. or a, a beverage blender. Whoa. Okay, that's good. Okay. Perfect. All right. Wow, that looks over delicious. To this side, Chris Berg over here. Yes, sir. Okay. Lance Romance, we gotta season it well. A little bit of salt. Salt and pepper. Okay. All right, ready? I'm ready. I'm just well, gonna. Well, no, I, I won't do it to you this time, man. <laughs> Do you want to talk about your special at all while you're yeah. ladling that up? Okay, ladle this yes, up, please. Yes, I would okay. love to. So uh, this Tuesday we're going to have yeah. Tony's signature special. It's going to be seafood. Oh, yum. You can't I, go wrong. You can't go wrong with seafood. I'm going to make it so beautifully oh, in season, so incorporate some of those good. farmer's market ingredients. Uh -huh. It's going to be delicious. So you got to come out to Sorrells and try my seafood special. This Why week. not? It's going to be delicioso. Isn't that awesome? How does this that? smells incredible. Do you smell the ginger? Oh. All right? I love it. And you can chop some parsley, please. Okay. All right, some parsley. Mm -hmm. So a uh, nice garnish for the ginger soup is fresh parsley. Also, fresh chives would work really well. Perfect. Okay? That'd be nice. And maybe even a dollop of sour cream if you like. Oh, okay, or creme fraiche as it's called as that'd well. That'd be great. Or maybe all three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> all right, so... Um, he was a little chintzy with the soup. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Because I'm trying to spread the love. No there's other seconds people at here Chris's in the, house. There's, there's other people here in the studio. There's more parsley in there than soup. Come on, Paisan. There we go. There we go. Because I know people will be like, I didn't want to Dude, say anything, but thank we're, you, Andrea. We're, we're <laughs> some of my shoe. Because I know people. Are... Come on. Uh, we have to be able to see it with the camera. That's what I'm thinking. So, Chris, you come to my house, it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so carrot ginger soup, it's easy as you can see. It's delicious. Oh. Blend it well, okay, with this the immersion is amazing. blender. And then you can make it ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator, and then take it out and heat it up and have it when you like. This is you it know how many times incredible. I made your last soup? Like mm -hmm. eight zillion times? <laughs> I'm gonna make this like nine zillion. I think what makes this really terrific too is that mm -hmm. carrots are sweet. They're always people like carrots, but mm. the ginger really wakes it up and makes it isn't taste good? delicious, isn't it? Wow. It's so good. It's so simple. You though. just keep talking while we eat. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so carrot mm. ginger soup, the only thing you you know, the ginger is really what makes it so you need to get fresh ginger. Use fresh ginger. Don't use like a powdered ginger, like mm -hmm. a, something on the shelf. Yeah. Get the fresh stuff. It lasts a long time in the refrigerator, too. This you is can phenomenal, use it for buddy. your stir fry as well. It's so amazing. How does that taste? So amazing. The Lost Pittsburgh. Italian, thank you. It's fantastic. Oh. Not even as there, Chief. As always, go to our website to get the recipe and go to Sorello's in Moorhead yes. to have seafood on Tuesday. And What's just up, Doc? All around good food all the time. We'll be right back. Thanks, Tony. Mm.